Yo guys, how you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. In this video, I'm gonna talk about um, how to get PMA and insecure kitas even more detail. So, watch this video until the end. My name is Hakim Isa. I'm your host in Bali. Behind me is the PMA signing, and this video I'm gonna tell you about the progress and the process of the PMA signing. So stay with me. Welcome to What's Up Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to go to Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Guys, I just finished the signing of the PMA. So one of our viewers, our subscribers, just signed a PMA to do business in Bali. So wisdom luck. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna go a bit details, more details than the previous one in my video about the PMA, that how to getting it and what will you get, what you should get by signing a PMA through an agency like me, for instance. I'm gonna more details on that. So. Grab your coffee, grab your pen, your note, because this video is a bit long. But trust me, if you're thinking to open up a business here, you need to watch this video. So, as I always mentioned in my previous video, to open up a BMA here, it requires at least two shareholders. One, it will become a director, and one will be the commissioner. What's the difference? The director is the one who will be responsible on the operation of the PMA. And also the director will be, his name will be registered for the PMA tax registration. And for the commissioner, it's more like the controller to control the activities of the PMA. But it's not really involved in the operation. So actually, commissioners doesn't have to live here. That's why only the director who must have or apply the investor kita. So the director can stay here in Bali to... Uh, operate their business but for the commissioner they don't have to so let's say if your commissioner don't want to stay here in Bali it's okay you can stay in their country but they still entitled if somehow they want also stay here in Bali applying the investor kitas okay is PMA must mix with local or can be for some business can 100% foreigners like for instance for restaurant for hotel for what else uh, real estate what else um yeah the most common one is possible 100% foreigners. You don't have to have uh, local shareholders. But for construction, for instance, you have to mix with a local, like 30% local, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, consult with your visa agency for that. Consult to me, I'm sorry to know. And one more thing that you have to pay attention, the PMA now cannot own a small business. Small business is protected by government for local. So you, uh, PMA can only do, can only own medium to big scale of business. For example, if you open up a restaurant, must be have minimum 50 seat, 50 chairs. And if you open up a resort like this, minimum must be on the 4,000 square meter land. That's possible. But less is considered small business. Like a cafe, if it's less than 50 chairs, it's considered a small business. And PMA, I'm sorry, I'm writing not in the middle. And PMA must have business plan minimum 10 billion Indonesian rupiah. That's more or less like 700k US dollars. Business plan though, you don't have to invest that amount of money, it's business plan. So later if you mention in document, let's say um, there's a four of you, four shareholders, and each have like 25% shares, each of them. So that means each of them have 2 billion 500 share, value of share. So okay, do we need to invest that 10 billion? No, you don't. But the government expects that the shareholder will commit to uh, invest at least 25% of it, like 2.5 billion Indonesian rupiah, when the business is running. So they don't really mention the uh, the time for that, but so you don't need to put at once. For instance, for instance, for example, okay, at the first month, let's yes, say you invest like I don't know 500 million in Indonesian rupiah let's say you 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 have a restaurant and then you you buy equipment etc so let's say on your first month you spend like 500 million Indonesian rupiah and on the second month let's say 
you are start promoting let's say you spend 100 million Indonesian rupiah so it's already 600 there and add it up add it up add it up until you reach a certain point which is you're being expected to invest the 2.5 billion so it's not that on the first month you have to pay the 2.5 billion no add it up every month no time limit so no worries but you do now because of there's so many foreigners actually they, because they're just looking for the kitas actually they're not doing the business that's why now the director is mandatory to do report every four months like report of the progress so the government know that your pma your business is real well i'm gonna talk about what you must do when your PMA is run okay but I'm gonna say it later on in this video so watch this video until the end now how to get the PMA actually there's two way to get the PMA one we call it onshore that means you're already here in Bali with the B2 11A visa then you apply for the PMA and then investor kitas and the other one called offshore that means you're still in your country you're still in your country but you apply for the PMA and the KITAS and the offshore while you're still in your country is a bit cheaper than if you apply if you're already here in Bali and the price is various for each agency if you want me to do your PMA and KITAS send me email all right I'm gonna also mention my email down in the description now what do you need to apply the PMA this this work for both of you onshore or offshore while you're already in Bali or you're still in your country okay First, I need the photo of your passport and make sure your passport still valid for at least 33 months from the day you enter Indonesia. Or the ID, the local ID if shareholder is local. Number two, I need the name, who is will be the director and who is the commissioner or commissioners. Because the commissioner can be more than one, but the director must be only one. I need that. I need the name of who will be the director and who will be the commissioners and their share how many percentages the director have and how many uh, percentage of share that the commissioner have i need that and then the name of the pma it must be content three words like for instance what's up bali that three words okay so the name of the pma must be content three words and then the business sector for instance restaurant or resort or um, real estate or import export yeah, the business sector I know I said earlier in previous video that I said that a PMA can have maximum eight business sector but in my opinion in my opinion better only have one or two business sector or better just one like restaurant for instance but then you have a lot of restaurant better have one business sector but you have a lot of the business of the restaurant compared to each of them is different business sector and then i need the address of your business location like your restaurant or the office of your pma like for say if you are um, real estate or you import export of course you don't have a business location so i need the office your office address or if you're still in your country that means you don't know where your, your office is you can always use the virtual office just google it virtual office in denpasar so i need that for the address of your company of your PMA and then number six down payment 60% of the price and then the 40% you paid when all the kitas and PMA done so now what document will you get if you uh, get the PMA how many document that you will get this is the trick some agency they can go cheaper because they only organize you some document they don't really complete the document so later on when you need when you need to expand your business or you need to do something then you find out that actually your document is not enough then you try to get one then you need to pay more so be careful now I'm gonna tell you what document that actually you need complete so you don't need to ask more if you want to add some shareholders or you want to expand your PMA etc okay this the document that you should get one let me read it okay I'm reading one decree of the Minister of Justice of Human Rights two the PT PMA license by common understanding and number three NPWP is a NPWP we call it so it's a company tax registration and then the detail per one the company detail summary and then the OSS account all your company details progress activities permit by synchronized with OSS system and then you will get the business license and then you will get 
the domicile letter and then the izin lingkungan is the environment community permit and then environment department this is environmental management effort it's not goes to all business sector it's like for instance if like me for instance the, a hotel a resort they're gonna check if my waste is not gonna bother the environment well you don't need to write it down if you're getting your pm and if okay that's with me i'm gonna give all in written what you will get and what it is for and the total of this uh, for the pma is about one month and then when the pma done then i can um, apply for your investor kitas if you're still out there in your country then we're gonna send you the e-kitas for you to come to indonesia and then when you arrive here we're gonna convert your e-kitas to kitas will take another one month so during that process you cannot go anywhere because i'm gonna take your password away to convert to the kitas and then when your kitas is done you will get like a certificate the kitas certificate like this and also you will get the card the kitas card and it's valid for two years and then you can extend it again and when you extend it you don't need to extend the pma you only need to extend the kitas so it's gonna be cheaper now after all the kitas all the pma is done your pma is run what the director should do the director to make the report to the government, the progress report to the LP, sorry, LKPM, quarterly report, the progress report. And then the director must tax report monthly for the VAT and yearly for the company income tax. Okay, how much is the income tax? For those who just start, so the income is not yet reached 350,000 US dollars a year, revenue is not reached that yet. So you only need to pay income tax for the company 0.5% from gross income per month. Okay, what about if you forgot to report? Then you will get a notification letter, like reminder letter. And then after two or three times you get the letter, you will then get visit from the government. Then they're gonna take all your book, they're gonna interview you. Just, just try not to miss the report okay better if you do report to them then they come to you that's my opinion i hope it's clear now well i do my best to make it clear but i know it's never been clear crystal if related to regulation it's always complicated so that's why if you still have a question send me email i will explain it again for you even though you decide not to go with me it's okay no problem but of course if you decided to go with me thank you so much and if you're already in bali contact me okay and let's meet over a cup of coffee let let go through this again directly hit the subscribe button for those who haven't smash the notification bell because in the next video i'm gonna talk about the problem that happening right now at the molina.immigracy.go.id you know the, the website for you to apply the visa stay tuned this next video will be in two days i just need to search a little bit more okay so until next video my name is okimisa signing off from bali till then